there was a rumour in the air that there was a, a small problem. Yeah, the, it was obvious here, at think. the time. I mean, it, it was, it had been building up for a long time. It wasn't ah. just an immediate decision, so. How difficult then, because I believe shortly after he left you off on a European tour, how difficult was to was it to drag yourself back from four-piece and play as a three-piece unit? The first few dates in Europe were a bit sort of like rough, but um, made us play better, I think. Made us mm -hmm. get closer together musically. Reaction-wise to people, you'd done Europe prior to that, hadn't you? It wasn't your first time around Europe, was it? No. So for people who'd seen you before, their reaction to the band as a three as opposed to four, what was that like? Well, they preferred it as well, I think. They did? I mean, that a, lot, a lot of the people had seen this on their very first tour, which was as a trio uh -huh. in Europe. So, I mean, they, although it was completely different, they were accustomed to seeing us as a trio. But um, it, was much, it was much better. I mean, the atmosphere on stage was so much obviously better than, than the previous time we toured yeah. with Matthew in the band. So, Lawrence? Do you feel, uh, this time round you're doing concerts as opposed to last time was a pub thing, do you feel it's better to be in a concert situation or would you rather be in the hotel pubs? Um, well, we, w we wanted to avoid what happened last time with uh, being in a place where, where there was 2,000 people crammed into a place that was meant to hold about 1,000, mm. where everybody was, you know, standing on top of each other. And also we've got a bigger production this time, so it's a necessity more than anything to play in a place that's got a, a stage that would accommodate everything. Right. Carnage Visas, you're not using a, a backup band, are you, a support group? Yeah. But you're using Carnage Visas, the movie. Can uh, somebody give us a good rundown on that? How it came about? Who made it, etc.? Uh, Simon's brother made it. Uh -huh. His older brother. But we're using um, other things as well. I mean, like, we'd be using tonight probably um, a string quartet as well. And we're probably using other things. In fact, if there's anybody watching who uses a drum machine and that's a trio, preferably with a female lead vocalist, come down to the Capitol Theatre at about half four this afternoon and it'll be your moment. Half past Saturday. four this hour. Yeah. Do you want to uh, do that uh, plea again? Because anyone may be just out of the room at this time. Are they? Um, You're looking for? Um, anyone who uses a drum machine, a trio that uses a drum machine. Right. Preferably with. Well, preferably the female singer, mainly because of it shifts emphasis from my voice, and it's just like the difference between um, synthesizer and guitars, really. Right, it's if you'd like to, uh, to work with The Cure, that's what you do, get down to the theatre about 4.30 4 this afternoon. Yeah. OK. We have one of those shows today that is uh, fairly jam-packed, and we're running out of time again. So can we have a look at a track of your latest album? We'll have a look at Primary, The Cure. Thank you for coming in, guys. Good luck on this trip round. <laughs> Primary, The Cure. Lawrence, Robert and Simon, thank you very much for coming in. <laughs> Just one question before you go. Will you make this an annual thing to, to pop back to Australia and do a tour each year? As Thank long you. as we keep touring, we'll probably come to Australia. Keep coming back. But Great. it's not a problem. Yeah. You're, st <laughs> you're staying down at Bondi Beach, where you stayed last time. This is called Buster Bondi. It's by an Aussie group called Midnight Oil. What a wonderful you want link. to have a look at them. <laughs> I don't know whether we'll see the beach. Buster Bondi. <laughs> and we're not going to play it now. We're going to take a commercial break. What bad luck. Can we play it later? <laughs> Play just a portion of it. All right, we'll get a commercial break. Yeah, you're staying down at Bondi. That's got nothing to do with the commercial we'll break. But thank you, The Cure, for being with us. We'll be back in just a tick with the sounds. Yeah.